In today's Six Figure Health headlines, preliminary autopsy results confirm actress Natasha Richardson died of a brain injury suffered in what was first thought to be a minor skiing accident. Richardson died last night in a New York City hospital where she'd been transferred after the accident Monday on the beginner's slope at a resort in North Montreal. Her death has sparked intense discussion about seemingly minor injuries to the brain and the use of helmets in skiing and other sports. Here's NBC's Chris Clackham with that story. The shock of actress Natasha Richardson's death is amplified by what killed her. Bleeding on the brain caused by a fall during a skiing lesson on the beginner's slope at a resort near Montreal. Proof, doctors say, just how fragile the brain is. This could be a subtle and gradual deterioration. And when it comes to brain injury, this is not something you want to try to manage at home or keep an eye on. My life has just been an incredible struggle uh, since that um, that moment. It's been 12 years since Ann Forrest suffered her traumatic brain injury. Driving home from work in Washington, D.C. in 1997, she was involved in a minor wreck, but one that jerked her head about suddenly. I woke up really early, 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, the next day and with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Like Richardson, Forrest had bruising and bleeding on the brain. And even a decade of treatment and therapy later, you it's know, still a struggle all, for I her. I can't drive yet. I mean, I, I, you know, so other people are taking me places. Uh, I've got transportation. I don't cook things. Natasha Richardson wasn't wearing a helmet, renewing that debate, too. Many times I've fallen on the slopes and I've been very thankful that I've had my helmet on. Ski club manager Pete Campbell won't take to the slopes without one. I would never uh, say everybody should have to have a helmet on to ski, uh, but it just, to me, it's common sense. Doctors say the Richardson case shows why even minor bumps on the head are to always be taken seriously. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Coming up new for you.